is up YouTube Luca here with another PvP build. I'm on my Magicka Saucer with another one hit build and the one shot, the one hit ability is this time Crystal Fragment, but not the channeled ability one, the Crystal Fragment proc, which hits between 24 up to 30k ish, depends on the targets of course. I'm with New Moon on the body and War Maiden on the front bar. With Balog of course. Full Divines and full Light Armor for extra penetration. Full Infuse Spell Damage on the Jewelry. And back bar just a random restoration stuff. I'm using the Ancient Grace here in defending. But you can use any restoration stuff, it doesn't matter. It's important to have the War Maiden's Inferno stuff here. I've tested maces, swords, even axes. But the Inferno stuff is superior thanks to this juicy passive called Ancient Knowledge, which gives us 10% extra damage done, flat damage, with single target abilities. It's even better than the Dual passive uh, with maces, for example which gives over 3.3k penetration. But that's not all. I also have a pre-buff set up with a set called Sulxan, which gives spell damage, minus layer, crit, crit. When an enemy you recently damage dies, they leave behind a vengeful soul for 6 seconds. You can only create one vengeful soul at a time. Touching the soul increase your critical chance by 2160 and your critical damage by 12% and look at the duration for 30 seconds. It's perfect for IC ganks, in Syro and BGs not really viable, only in IC. I will show you after this build showcase how you actually pre-buff, but it's only possible with add-ons like Dressing Room or Alpha Gear, so sorry console players. Not for you, but don't worry, you don't need this pre-buff setup to be honest. You will gain probably, I would say, 5 to 6% more damage, depends on the target. So not needed, but still strong. If you can use it, use it. Skills wise, nothing complicated. Front bar like always, just fighter skills, skills slotted for the slayer passive. So we gain 15% extra spell damage, Dawnbreaker, Silver Leash, Sacred Protection, Camouflage Hunter, which gives also minor Berserk, another 5% extra flat damage, and Barb Trap. We have to slot Crystal Fragment on the front bar and back bar to be able to proc uh, the Crystal Fragment proc, and you have to be in combat, it's really important, otherwise it will not proc. Then Rapid Region. We need this heal here for Simon Frenzy, it ticks enormously after a couple of seconds. Gen Rage for Minor Force and Search for Major Sorcery. And I even use this Invis Potions here with Prophecy. So we have Major Sorcery, the Spell Damage buff, and Major Prophecy, the Crit Damage, uh, the Crit Rate buff. So we can slot all warrior skills or fighter skills abilities here instead of using inner light for extra three percent more spell damage then which is definitely worth it and then of course the most important ultimate light champion for major force 20 percent extra crit damage for eight seconds which also heals tremendously for another five six more saving frenzy stacks for more spell damage Race I'm High Elf, not the best choice. I would say Khajiit is the best one here with 12% more crit damage. And High Elf, probably the second best choice. Potions, like I said before, the Invis Potions with Major Prophecy. You can also use this one with Major Expedition, but then you have to slot in a light on the front bar. CPs, Deadly Aim, Master Darms, Fighting Finesse and Backstabber. Red Ones, Rejuvenation. Fortified, Baldur's Vitality, and Siphoning Spells for extra magical region. Okay, let's talk about the pre-buff. Choose any NPC, kill it, and pick up the blue small soul on the ground to get the 30 seconds buff, which gives 12% crit damage and over 10% crit. 
You could do it every 10 seconds, just kill randomly mobs to keep up the buff, or you find a gankable target with between 25 to 30k HP, tap target it, go line of sight and then take the buff. Then swap to your gank setup, choose a random mob nearby the gank location, light attack it to be in combat for the crystal fragment proc, then toggle simmering frenzy, wait at least 5 seconds and pray that nobody sees you, heal yourself with rapid regen, use the restoration ultimate, then the invis potion, make sure that your fragment proc is shortly reapplied before the ultimate, then step closer to the target and one shot it. Risky, complicated, sometimes even annoying, but as you can see it works and it's always funny to actually one shot someone. And now enjoy the gameplay footage, if you like my content don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below, I would really appreciate guys. Enjoy. Here we are at the end of another PvP build, thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video, ciao!